Francisco. That was tremendous. Oh, thank you. A little out of tune. No, <laughs> listen, that was wonderful. And, and the folks have to come down to Memorial Hall. That was just a sample of what they're going to be hearing down here. Thank you. How about uh, Pal Joey? Now, is this your, your first time in Pal Joey? Well, this is my first time on any kind of a legit Broadway show. And uh, I, one of the basic reasons I took it is that... Uh, I'm up for a Broadway show, and I just finished my first motion picture, and my uh, real ambition now is uh, to limit myself to nightclubs, which I am doing, and to get into films. And this was really one way to find out if I'm a good actor or not. And I must tell you that uh, in the 15 years that I've been knocking around, I have never had the thrill of, uh, thrill of my life like I did a couple of weeks ago, the first time I stepped on stage. And uh, I've had a lot of thrills. I did, you know, a command performance for the Queen, and I've had a couple of hit records and things. But working the boards, as they say, with the performers in this show and the cast and the musicians is like a whole new world. They are the most loyal, the most beautiful people I've ever worked with in my life. Now, how about nightclubs? Of course, you, you specialized in this, buddy, but uh, how is this different? Well, when you're working in a nightclub, you're working to the people, and you're trying to draw them into you. And I have a ball all the time because I love my work, and it's very obvious. But uh, you really kind of blank out the people. Uh, this is why you're acting in one way, but in another way, you're still trying to bring them in. This is a, probably the biggest challenge I have ever had. Uh, Rod Steiger and uh, David Jansen, who's my best friend, David, uh, thinks that they think that working in a nightclub is the moment of truth, which it probably is uh, for any good performer, because you can't retake it. Once you've done it, it's in the air, it's gone. But I've been doing that so long, it's second nature. This, uh, I'm just in love with the, you know, with the theater all over again. Well, you're the musician's favorite, I think, buddy. They all speak so highly of you. Well, thank you. And enjoy all of your albums. Now, tell me, where do you make your home? I live in Beverly Hills. In Beverly Hills. Yeah. How about the family? Well, we, well, I uh, have one daughter. In fact, she's with me right now, and. Uh, uh, I play quite a bit of golf. Uh, my next door neighbor is another Italian singer called Dean somebody. <laughs> Dean, well, that's what this is. <laughs> Dean you're, Martin Luther King. Listen, you're quite a golfer. Well, Dean's a five handicap and I'm a six, and uh, we play quite a bit. But uh, uh, we just bought a new home in, in Beverly Hills, and as I say, I don't travel too much anymore. And uh, I just can't wait till I go to work at night. Uh, it's just a marvelous feeling. Buddy Greco, it was so nice to visit with you, and Thank I hope you. everyone comes down to see I hope so. Pal Joey at Memorial Hall this week. I think you'll like uh, the people in Beverly Hills, sure and I'm certain they'll like you. You'll be appearing here through Sunday. Through Sunday night, right. Yes, and we have an early show on Sunday at 7.30. We have two matinees. Two matinees, Saturday and Saturday Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Buddy Greco, what are some of the songs you're going to be singing and playing? Well, I'm doing, uh, I could write a book, uh, Ladies of Tramp. Thank goodness for that. Which was my <laughs> that big was rest. your big yeah, one. Right. And uh, Funny Valentine is in the show, would Bewitched, and uh, I do a couple of piano things, uh, one in particular which I think they'll enjoy called Slaughter on 10th Avenue, which runs about six minutes. I love that. So it's pretty wild. Well, I'll be down to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much, Barry. Thank you. Look at this beautiful face, girl. Ah, no, Carolyn Miller was saying, wait and see, you see, and Jeffrey, she said she's unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. I and you that. are your skin. Now, Anne, what do you do? Any special oh, secrets skin? you could tell us? No, I have a very thin Scotch-Irish skin, so I just keep out of the sun. You know, I get my legs and my body is fairly tan, but I don't let the sun get in the face at all. Now, what about uh, any night creams, anything like that? that you no, use? I have nothing particular. Nothing. You just you just inherited a good ah, skin, I think. I never even think of it as being good skin. So. And beautiful eyes. Oh, thank you. And are you having fun with Pal Joy? Oh yes, it is. It's really a fun show. It's not my favorite role by any chance. You know, after you do things like Well Street Scene, Kiss Me Kate, and Camelot, and even bells are ringing. I did bells are ringing here about nine years ago. Here is that in right? Dayton, yes. And uh, those roles are much more fun than this one for me. But the show is fun. I enjoy the company. Well, the um, hall has changed. Our sound and the stage has changed somewhat. So I think you'll enjoy opening here. I'm looking and, forward to it. Yes. Now tell us a little bit about uh, your hubby, Robert Sterling, Robert and Sterling. the kiddies. Where are they? Uh, they're in California. I have three little boys. I have Jeff and Dana and Tyler. And they're di very disappointed they aren't with me. But um, circumstances, one of them is taking an art course this summer, and one of them has guitar lessons, the other has drum lessons, <laughs> and we just can't throw up everything to go on the road with Mother. And I try not to stay away from home too long. My uh, home life is very important to me. 
So this time I'm gone four weeks. I go for two weeks, and I'll be gone for three, and then I won't go out anymore this summer. Where did you get the names for your children? Well, of course, Jeffries is my mm -hmm. name. I decided that's the last time I'd have first Billings, because his name is Jeffrey Sterling, you see. And uh, Tyler, Tyler Marcus. Marcus is a family name. Tyler we just like. And, of course, the middle one is Robert Dana. And we like the name Dana. And I wanted a son af named after Robert, and yet he didn't want another Robert in the family, so it would be confusing. So uh, just that's the way we got him. How about the Topper series? Oh, that was so you like delightful. Those? Oh, I loved it. Didn't you have fun doing the series? Yes, yes. We shot those for two years, you know, and in those days we worked six days a week. We did two a week, which meant we started on uh, Monday with one and finished it Wednesday night, usually at midnight. And then we started the next one the next morning and finished usually 12 o'clock Saturday night. So we were pretty tired people for a while. Mm, yeah. Was this before children? Well, no, Jeff was born right in the middle of the series. We <laughs> planned we planned it that way, you see, on the hiatus. And he was two weeks late and nearly drove the network and the sponsor insane. <laughs> I, didn't imagine. I was standing on my head, running up and downstairs, and my doctor says, relax, he'll <laughs> get here when he's ready to get here. Now, how about cooking? Do you have any time uh, when you're home to do any cooking? Well, Betty, cooking used to be a big hobby with me, but in the last year and a half, I had a housekeeper that did not cook very well. And my, the men folk in my family, all four of them, are, have certain things that they like, and they're very particular, and I've spoiled them a little bit. So I sort of took over the dinner chores at night. And uh, it really spoiled my hobby, because having to cook dinner every night um, took all the joy out of it, really has. How about your figure? You're so slim. Do you have to watch what you eat? I think most everyone does, really. I love food, and I enjoy eating, and I love to eat. But uh, when I want to lose weight, I cut out all starches, bread, butters, potatoes, rice, uh, you know, pastas, no desserts, of course. And I lay off the sugar, and I lose quite a bit like that.